Hi, I'm Pastor Krause coming to you from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Very glad to uh, speak with you today. I'm going to be reading a section from the, if you will, Hall of Fame, the great chapter of faith, uh, Hebrews, the 11th chapter. If you have a Bible, feel free to pick it up. But uh, we read in a couple of different sections these words. By faith, Abraham... When called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith he made his home in the promised land like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city whose foundations, whose architect and builder is gone. And by faith, even Sarah, who was past childbearing age, was enabled to bear children because she considered him faithful who had made the promise. And so from this one man, and he as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sand on the seashore. By faith, Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had embraced the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son, even though God had said to him, It is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Abraham reasoned that God could even raise the dead. And so, in a manner of speaking, he did receive Isaac back from death. This is the word of our God. This is an incredible chapter once again talked about as the Hall of Fame, if you will. As we peruse the different names that are given to us here in this incredible chapter of Holy Scripture, there are some names like Abraham that we expect to see. Abraham was referred to, only person uh, that is referred in this way, as the friend of God. We see the faith of Abraham. And uh, then there's some lesser known figures. There's some surprises on the list as we go through this chapter of Holy Scripture. Not long ago, I received a book from Voice of the Martyrs, and it was a larger book with the story of famous, not so famous Christians, but people who lived their lives, people who were martyred for the faith in different centuries in the last 2,000 years as they gave their lives fully and freely to the Lord Jesus Christ. What a powerful example of faith so many of these people lived in their life, sometimes well-known and other times not so well-known. But they loved the Lord Jesus Christ and they lived for him. I think, you know, one of the incredible things about Abraham is that story. It's it's a hard story in a way to read. Abraham is commanded to sacrifice his son Isaac. He goes up to Mount Moriah. He's ready to strike down his son. And then these words given to us here in Hebrews 11. He was convinced that God could raise people from the dead. He was convinced that uh, his son Isaac, the long-promised Son, God had made that promise that you're going to have a son, and now he's uh, at a very old age. You're going to have a son, and through that son, there are going to be descendants, like we are told here, sands on the ocean floor. They're going to come through that son, and now he's told to take that son and sacrifice him. But his faith is so great that he's willing to make that sacrifice, knowing that God can even raise Isaac from the dead. Well, of course, God stops him, and he doesn't complete that sacrifice which he uh, was commanded to make. And we think of the sacrifice of God's Son, Jesus Christ. God did not stop that sacrifice. Jesus Christ died for us there on the cross, and he is the one who invites us now to follow him in any and every situation of life. Some will be more known because of the sacrifices they make for the Lord as they follow him. Others will be less known. Uh, but let us be people who follow our Lord in faith. I'm going to pray now a Lenten hymn, and uh, it's hymn 402. We hear these words. We pray. My faith looks up to thee, thou Lamb of Calvary, Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray. Take all my guilt away, O oh, let me from this day 
be wholly lying. May the Lord bless you and uplift you today.